Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about our one-to-one -one scale transfer. So one-to-one -one just means that one, like pretend I have one inch, on our um, upscaled or changed image that we're going to be duplicating will be the exact same measurement. So one inch to one inch, pretend these are inches. And a scale just means normally I can change this one to a different number. So I can go a three to one, a two to one, and we'll talk about those at another time. So with this one, what you guys are going to be practicing with is one, you'll have to label all of your stuff on the top and on the side. And you'll also have to do that for the box below it. So you have the top and the side all the way on down. I typically start from the left and go to the right, but just as long as you guys keep it consistent. So I have A here, I have A at the bottom right there, B, B, one, one, two, two, and I keep it exactly the same all on each. So what I personally like to start with is I just go through the top row and whenever I start seeing information that I need to transfer down to the next one, I actually start there first. Another thing that I like to do that helps me out is I normally just divide them in half just so that I can make sure that I get really close to where that actually deserves to be. So I'll make it a little bit darker so that you guys can see. So if I cross, it's G1, touch G1, cross that one off, half and half, I can start actually filling in this information. So you notice that the top of the pizza actually touches about right here. Connect it right there. Try to make sure that it touches about the same side on G down here on the right hand side. And then I see this nice little curve that happens and it touches right before the edge where it touches F. I duplicate that information. And I keep doing this. So I'll go to 2F just because it connects next and start filling out that information. So it goes from corner to corner. I'll just fill that out really quick. And then I have this little oblong shape right in here. And if you need to cross it, and actually that does help a little bit, do have. And then later on, you can erase out these guiding lines. So that touches through most of it, and then I curve it and it almost touches right there. And I just keep following through with all these until I transfer that pizza down into here. Now when you're erasing it, make sure that you're keeping your edges nice and sharp. So slowly do it, and if you erase any of the information that you did need, just make sure that you go back and fill it in again. This is going to be really important for our Christmas card, but also for our rodeo project. So this is a skill that you're going to be using quite a lot. Once you guys get a little bit more comfortable with it, this flows pretty quickly. It is basically a way of copying without Basically, we're getting around the rules whenever they say you can't photocopy it, you can't duplicate it. You're just basically making it easier on yourself. You have your reference material, but at the same time, you're duplicating what you need. So, I am almost done with this crust. Let's go finish, finish off this other side. Little triangle. I also like look for the triangles, how big they are, and just to see, like, this triangle is this big, make sure they're about the same. Basically, it's kind of like in math when you're going back and checking yourself. Ooh, a little teeny triangle. And then fill that out. Now I'm going for the bottom of my crust. And I know you guys can't see all of it. Just this camera's a little bit smaller than I intended it to be. But you guys are getting the general gist. So that doesn't touch until the end of F. And 7. So right here I should have that connection. Follow that angle all the way on up. Bottom of eight, right here. Touch it again. Got the bottom of my pizza figured out real quick. Basically, I just figured out where it touched right here. And then I um, took that to where I had finished right there and then just connected those angles. Just made it a little bit faster. Exactly, that one curves. We get that slimy cheese. And then later on, I'll go back and add in all that information for all of the different toppings. That is where a lot of the difficulty is going to come in. What if this is really handy for is if whenever you guys are bringing in your um, Christmas pictures, duplicating somebody's face. Getting it to actually look like that person is so tricky, but being able to um, do a grid drawing really, really helps. So starting this as like a practice skill really, really helps you out. 
On our next video, I'm actually going to start talking about how you would take it from a drawing to just a regular grid on your nice paper. And I'll show you exactly how to do that. Oops. That guy's supposed to be down a little bit further. See, I'm checking myself just like in math, so that needs to be in four. I almost goofed up. skinnier and it doesn't have to be exact exact it's just as long as you're getting the basic shapes and you know what it is it's like here I can still tell it's a mushroom here's a pepperoni I think these are onions a little hook right there I'm going really fast just so that you guys aren't bored this one looks like it's a bit pepperoni like a boomerang. Let's see, this one overlaps. Perfect. This one almost touches the bottom, cuts right on through. One last pepperoni and one last mushroom. That's in 5i, 5i, just had to make sure I was in the right spot. One's over a little bit too far, shut that off. One's over here just a little bit, and swing it on down. There we go. I've pulled my pizza from up here, all the toppings, so you can see it really quick. And I brought it down here. So remember, even with your toppings, you can actually sit there and still do all those cross grids if that helps you out. It's just a little bit more difficult with all these details to be able to erase it later. So that's why I decided not to do it. So that is a one-to-one -one scale transfer. And if you guys need any help, please let me know. I'd love to help you out.